our final question for this chapter two review. Same idea as 20, number, uh, number 20. So um, there's five terms here. Uh, we can't do factoring by grouping, so we'll go ahead and use C over D. C factors of the constant, so plus or minus one, plus or minus two, and plus or minus four, and plus or minus eight. D factors of the leading coefficient, which is just one, so that's just plus or minus one. And we learned that C over D, um, if D is one, is just C. So it's gonna be these uh, two, four, six, eight different possibilities. And let's start trying them um, in, with synthetic division. I will mention, remember if you plug in zero for X, um, you'll get the Y intercept. So it should be at negative eight, which is about right there. Um, but let's keep going with this. Uh, we'll start with one, of course. List our coefficients, one, negative four, negative three, 14, and negative eight. Bring down the one. One times one is one, negative four is negative three. One times negative three plus negative three is negative six. One times negative six plus 14 is eight. And one times eight plus negative eight is zero. First try. Excellent. So we know we don't need all this anymore. We know x minus 1 is a factor. <coughs> and we have x cubed because we started with fourth. We're going down a power. So x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x plus Eight is what's left and now we do C over D again it's still an 8 here so it's still these possibilities one worked um, so it still could work if it worked once it could work again if one didn't work it wouldn't work on this one so let's just try one again um, so we put one we do our new leading coefficients, our new coefficients, I mean, 1, negative 3, negative 6, and 8. Bring down the 1. 1 times 1 is 1, plus negative 3 is negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, uh, plus negative 6 is negative 8. And 1 times negative 8 plus 8 is 0. 1 worked again. So right now, we have x minus 1 from up here. We now have, because of this one, we have another x minus 1. And we were at a cubed divided by an x. Now we're x squared minus 2x minus 8. We can keep factoring. Well, we can write this as x minus 1 squared because there's two of them. We will continue factoring this one. We have an x and an x. We have negative 8, which looks like we want to do negative 4 and positive 2. So our x-intercepts, or our zeros, are going to be at 1. That's going to be multiplicity 2, so that's important. Uh, 4 and negative 2. So let's go ahead and graph those points. We have 1. 4 and negative 2. Now this one right here is multiplicity 2 and we learned with multiplicity of e that are even it's going to kind of bounce off that point. So let's now look at end behavior EB. End behavior this is even and positive. So that means they're both going to be up, up, and up. So looks like it's going to start here. Um, actually, symmetry, no special symmetry because we have both 
even and odd exponents. So it's going to come here. That's going to be up over here. It's going to be up. But let's see what happens between a few of our points. Actually, we already have the y-intercept here. Let's try putting in 3. So we can use synthetic or we can plug in. It doesn't matter. Let's plug in this time. We're going to put 3 right into our function here. This is going to be 3 to the 4th minus 4 times 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 squared plus 14 times 3 minus 8. Uh, you can put that right into a calculator and figure it out. Um, I'm going to do, because I don't have my calculator handy, I'm just going to do something a little bit different here. This is 1 times 3 cubed. And this is 3 times 3 cubed. So I have 3 3 cubes plus 1 3 cubed is 4 3 cubed minus 4 3 cubed. So actually these things all become 0. 14 times 3 is 42 minus 8 is 34. So we should get 34 here. So when we plugged in 3, we got 34. Uh-oh, which isn't right because I did the wrong signs here. So this is 3 3 cubed minus 4 3 cubed is negative 1 3 cubed minus another one is negative 2 3 cubed. Ah, so negative 2, 3 cubed. 3 cubed is 27 times 2 is 54. So we have negative 54 plus 42 minus 8. Uh, so together these are negative 62, negative 20. Well, that makes more sense. Hmm, negative 20. Putting in 2, let's put in 2. 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 cubed is 8 times 4 is 32. 2 squared is 4 times 2. This is going to be minus 12. Plus 28 minus 8. That's 20. 20 minus 12 is 8. 16 and 8 is 24, and negative 32 is negative 8. So that goes there. And let's go ahead and sketch this graph. Uh, you could plug in negative 1 to figure out where this goes to. Uh, if you want to be a little more accurate, we're just going to change directions here. Oh, uh, we get to 1. And remember, 1 is multiplicity 2, so it bounces off there comes down to these points. We don't know exactly how low this goes, but it changes direction somewhere and comes back up. And there is the sketch of this graph right here.